ஹலோ குட் மார்னிங் அவர் ஃபஸ்ட் இஷ்யூ இஸ் கமினல் கண்டென்ட் இன் மீடியா ரீசெண்ட்லி சுப்ரீம் கோர்ட் சிஜிஐ ஹேஸ் செட் தட் தெர்ஸ் லேக் ஆஃப் அக்கௌண்டபிலிட்டி ஃப்ரம் தி சோஷியல் மீடியா பிளாட்ஃபார்ம் வை தெர்ஸ் ஃப்ரீ ஸ்ப்ரெட் ஆஃப் கமினல் வயலன்ஸ் அண்ட் ரிலேட்டட் கண்டென்ட் இன் சோஷியல் மீடியா வேரியஸ் சோஷியல் மீடியா பிளாட்ஃபார்ம்ஸ் அண்ட் தென் ஆர் ப்ரைவசி வயலேஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் இண்டிவிஜுவல்ஸ் but still social media platforms are not responding adequately they are responding for the powerful people not for the common citizens that's the anguish of the judiciary now supreme court that's why it has asked the government do we have any regulatory mechanism in place for social media platforms or not so this is a serious fundamental question for social media platforms identifying the communal content and curbing it it might be difficult but as the technology has evolved artificial intelligence deep fakes etc as the technology has evolved challenges evolved and technology can solve these challenges too but the primary thing is now the social media platforms they have to take their responsibility they have to accept that they have the responsibility in curtailing such communally and other violent content in the social media next issue is afghanistan and terrorism recently our prime minister has expressed concerns that afghanistan origin terrorism will be one of the important challenges for india recently we conducted a meeting with taliban representatives in doha wherein we expressed the same concern in this context the government is silent on hakani network what is hakani network it's an extremist group based in afghanistan which is supported by Pakistan this group supports Taliban and recently this group is also supporting ISIS Islamic state in conducting various terror operations the Sakani network is responsible for uh, uh, Indian embassy bombings and gurudwara bombings of last year so this issue is also needs to be addressed next issue is bio bricks recently first bio brick based building was inaugurated in indian institute of technology hyderabad this is under project known as bold unique idea lead development project under build project to demonstrate the strength and versatility versatility means variety of the material this particular bio bricks were developed these bio bricks were supported by metal framework the roof of this particular building is made up of bio bricks over pvc sheets to reduce the heat bio bricks they reduce the heat so in this context cooling demand for the building reduces so this is an alternative constructing material next issue is appointment and election of deputy speaker article 93 deals with speaker and deputy speaker of the house of the representatives that is house of the people deputy speaker position has been vacant in the past few years in this context ruling party says that combined opposition party as it did not have the strength to elect their member of the choice now the choice is with the government and we don't want it as of now and as of now opposition parties they don't have absolute strength they don't have leader of opposition itself that's why opposition parties demand for electing a member of opposition party as the deputy speaker is not tenable that's the ruling party's argument but the opposition party says supreme court itself has said that the majority opposition party the, the party's leader can be considered as the leader of opposition leader of opposition doesn't require 10% mandatory seats in the lok sabha that's the opposition party stand and it also says that in 1984 when rajiv gandhi came to power with huge majority then deputy speaker's position was given to opposition party yes that party has the absolute majority but then it has given this to the opposition party by convention parliament runs through conventions too so this is this came through convention in the constitution in the article 93 they, they don't have any obligation to elect the opposition party member as the deputy speaker but by parliamentary convention this is the process so government should respect it this is the argument from the opposition party next issue is 40 central universities have recently agreed to implement the credit bank what is a credit bank under national education policy 2020 credit system 
this was proposed under this credit system students will be allowed to attain the qualification to amass the credits rather than specific durations on campus that means let's say if there is a subject i can write the exam any time and i can complete the credits i need not stay for one year and complete the course such such thing is known as credit system certain credit numbers it would add up to the certificates ultimately that would add up to the certificates and students can earn up to 40% of credits in online swayam classes swayam is online portal maintained by the government so 40% of the credits can be earned through online portal known as swayam so in future these credits will be valid across the institutions as of now only 40 universities are trying to implement it and there is one more provision under nep that is glue grant glue my means coming together glue grant means in the in this year's budget institutions in the same city these are encouraged to share the resources equipment even allow their students to take the classes in each other's institutions for that government will be providing with certain grants which are known as glue grants these are two important things that are discussed under nep next issue is behla turtle conservation award recently indian biologist shailendra singh he was awarded with behla turtle conservation award for bringing three critically endangered remember three critically endangered turtles which uh, which were from uh, from the brink of extinction to conservation these three turtle species include red crown roof turtle northern river turpin turtle black soft shell turtle these three are critically endangered so he and his team has protected them this particular award is given by turtle survival alliance iucn ssc tortoise freshwater turtle specialized group turtle conservation conservancy turtle conservation fund these are some of the agencies which together provide for this particular um, behla turtle conservation award next issue is mn rebels they have killed 51 people in a bombing attack how the rebels these are the rebels in mn these are supported by iran in mn there's war going on saudi arabia and other uh, gulf countries combinedly they are fighting against the houthi rebels in mn so these houthi rebels they attack the pro government positions even after air strike from coalition of governments such as saudi arabia and supported by usa and uk next issue is anti trust case against apple apple is facing anti trust challenge which is known as competition challenge it has dominant position in the market it has phones so in its phones due to its dominance in the hardware it is dominating the app market also so it is forcing the developers Uh, to use its proprietary in-app purchase system so that's why in cci competition commission of india this case has been filed similar cases running in european union also against apple next issue is uk india free trade agreement earlier we were trying for india european union free trade agreement now as uk has came out come out of european union we are making separate agreements with uk and european union with regard to uk uk india business council has recently said and recently has presented pre free trade agreement submission to the department of internal trade of uk it has recommend it has recommended on various issues including reducing the tariffs on alcoholic spirits medical devices reducing non tariff barriers to goods such as standards um, simplification of custom procedures etc so these things in future this would be the first step in india uk free trade agreement once this is finalized once other things are discussed this agreement will be finalized we are parallelly making progress with india european free trade european union free trade agreement next let us understand the editorials first one is breakthrough infection challenge breakthrough infection means even after taking two vaccines if the person get the infection that is known as breakthrough infection recent study by csrs csir scientists has found out that over 1/4 of 600 sample uh, surveyed 
ஹெல்த் கேர் ஒர்க்கர்ஸ் தே ஆர் ரீ இன்ஃபெக்டட் தட் மீன்ஸ் ஒன் ஃபோர்த் ஆஃப் தெம் ஆர் கெட்டிங் ரீ இன்ஃபெக்ஷன் அர்லியர் ஸ்டடீஸ் ஃப்ரம் சிஎம்இ சிஎம்சி கிறிஸ்டியன் மெடிக்கல் காலேஜ் வெல்லூர் அண்ட் பிஜிஐஎம்இஆர் சண்டிகர் தே ஆல்சோ ரிப்போர்ட்டட் ஒன் டு டென் பர்சன்டேஜ் ஆஃப் ஃபுல்லி ஹெல்த் கேர் ஃபுல்லி வேக்சினேட்டட் ஹெல்த் கேர் ஒர்க்கர்ஸ் ஹவ் பீன் ரீ இன்ஃபெக்டட் தட் பட் தென் போத் த ஸ்டடீஸ் ஹேவ் ரிவீல் தட் ஹாஸ்பிட்டலைசேஷன் அண்ட் சிவியர் அண்ட் டெத்ஸ் ஆர் லெஸ் ஆஃப்டர் டேக்கிங் வேக்சின்ஸ் யஸ் ரீ இன்ஃபெக்ஷன் கேசஸ் ஆர் தேர் பட் ஹாஸ்பிட்டலைசேஷன் அண்ட் டெத் கேசஸ் ஆர் லெஸ் தட் மீன்ஸ் தேர் இஸ் வேக்சி வேக்சினேஷன்ஸ் தே ஆர் எஃபெக்டிவ் தே ஆர் எஃபெக்டிவ் இன் ப்ரிவென்டிங் சிவியர் சிக்னஸ் அண்ட் டெத்ஸ் இன் திஸ் கண்டெக்ஸ்ட் தி வேக்சின் மேனுஃபேக்சரர்ஸ் ஆர் வேக்சின் மேக்கர்ஸ் தே ஷுட் மூவ் ஃபார்வர்ட் வித் மேக்கிங் வேக்சின்ஸ் ஃபார் டெல்டா வேரியண்ட் நவ் திஸ் இஸ் தி மோஸ்ட் டேஞ்சரஸ் அண்ட் மோஸ்ட் ப்ரிவலண்ட் வேரியண்ட் they all should check whether the existing vaccines are effective again as delta variant or not if not they have to make the vaccines for delta variant next issue is hydro power projects in himalayas recurrent disasters are happening in uttarakhand himachal pradesh that means overall in himalayan states disasters are happening due to its geological position and due to the developmental priorities of the governments plus due to recent changes in the climate due to climate change and global warming these have become the vulnerabilities to such areas in this context recent ipcc reports in its sixth assessment report has said that there's huge impact on the fragile mountainous ecological systems so climate change models are clear that main water source regions in himalayas they have vulnerabilities to that's why they need to be very very careful retreating glaciers recurrent floods and the existence of para glacial zones which will accumulate the heavy silt during the cloudburst these are all the risk issues that's why hydro power projects in himalayas needs to be considered a dangerous and they should be stopped next issue is is monetizing public assets a good idea already we have discussed many a times on a national monetization pipeline and its implementation mechanism we discussed about invits we discussed about r its and we also discussed that ppp model it has certain constraints in this context these points needs to be added to the discussion that is all assets need not be of same quality and nature the policy of one size fits all might not work now the challenge is in structuring complexity of the contracts and a need for balance between privatization and monetization some assets needs to be privatized some assets needs to be monetized these things where should we monetize and where should we privatize where should we give it for ppps where should we invest it directly these things needs to be carefully calibrated these are the articles for today thank you very much all the very best